Christmas was on its way. Lovely, glorious, beautiful Christmas. We are fans of the Christmas Story movie, and when we learned that we were camped only 60 minutes away, we decided to take a ride to Cleveland, Ohio to explore this iconic house. General admission to tour the house and the museum is $15 per person. Seniors get a dollar off. Children ages 3 to 12 is $11. And children under 3 are free. Active duty and retired military get 20% off. Free on street parking is available. And free parking is available at the Bumpus's house, which is next door. The Bumpus's house parking may not be available when the houses are occupied, as both houses are available to rent. Weeks ago, I had sent away from my little orphan Annie's secret society decoder bin. Oh, skunked again. Contrary to some misinformation on the internet, this house actually was used in the making of the movie for some interior and exterior shots. The house was not originally meant for the movie, but Bob Clark, the director, and Gene Shepard, the author of In God We Trust, All Others Pay Cash, the book that would influence the movie, were scouting out locations for the movie. They sent out 100 inquiries to department stores throughout the U.S. and Canada to see if any of them could leave up their Christmas decorations after Christmas so that they could film their movie. Only one agreed, and that store was Higby's department store in Cleveland, Ohio. I wonder if they had any idea how big the industry would get from this movie. It's just amazing, isn't it? Uh -huh. No, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. We enjoyed wandering around the house. It's an interactive tour, so you're allowed to touch things and pick things up. And we didn't feel rushed at all. The tour included plenty of time to explore, and we were encouraged to touch and handle anything in the house. So of course, I needed to pick up the old man's major award. This isn't the original lamp from the movie. Do you know why? It's because it was smashed in the movie and the mom used up all the glue on purpose. Get the glue. We're out of glue. You use up all the glue on purpose.
Many props from the movie are available in the store, including the leg lamp, the pink bunny suit, Orphan Annie's Dakota pin, and of course, Ralphie's official Red Rider carbine action 200 shot range model air rifle with a compass in the stock and the thing that tells time. Just be careful not to shoot your eye out. The fire truck that showed up when Flick got his tongue stuck to the pole and the pole itself. Holy cow, it's a fire department! No. He also wanted to shoot some scenes of a steel mill that was in the area, but while driving around Cleveland, they got lost and found themselves in this neighborhood where they could see the steel mill in the background. That is when they spotted the house that still looked like it was from the 30s or 40s. They knocked on the door and nobody answered. So they went across the street to, to the inn and asked the bartender if he knew who owned the house. He didn't know, but then a steel worker sitting at the bar chimed in and asked what they wanted with his house. They asked him if they could film a Christmas movie in his house and he said no. He didn't trust Hollywood types but after several drinks and a $20,000 check he agreed to let them use the house. It is located at the intersection of Rowley Avenue and West 11th Street in Cleveland, Ohio. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up.